we are going to start this worksheet by practicing looking at pairs of molecules and determining if they're constitutional isomers or if they are two of the same molecule or if they have no relationship at all. So let's remember what it means to be constitutional isomers. They are molecules that have the same formula, but they have something different about the way the atoms are connected. The same molecule, if two molecules are the same, they're going to have the same formula and also the same type of connection. And if they have a different formula, then they aren't constitutional isomers and they're also not the same molecule. So the first thing, like we did yesterday, the first thing that you should always do is look at the pair of molecules and start by counting carbon atoms and see if they have the same number of carbon atoms or not. So let's practice these first ones here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons in that first molecule. And the second one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, also has seven. Because they have the same number of carbon atoms, maybe they're constitutional isomers, maybe they're the same, or maybe they're neither if they have different number of hydrogens. So let's next, let's count up the hydrogens and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So they have the same formula, which means that they're either constitutional isomers or they are the same molecule. What we have to look at next is how are the atoms connected? So I'm going to erase all of these marks. I'm going to show you a trick for helping you determine if they have the same connectivity or different connectivity. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to pick a carbon. Let's pick, let's pick this one out here because it's easy to see and we're gonna call it carbon number one. We're gonna call this guy the same one, carbon number one. They both have this same carbon sticking out. And the carbon that's attached to it, let's call that carbon number two. Let's call that guy carbon number two. So what we're doing is seeing if we can number these identically. And on carbon number two, on the left-hand molecule, we've got these two little guys that are kind of sticking out to the, to the right. We've got a three and a four. Let's go over to the right-hand molecule. And look, we also have over here a three and a four. Let's number, go back to the first molecule and number uh, in the other direction from carbon number two. So that's gonna be five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So since we were able to match the pattern of connectivity between the, these two molecules, they have the exact same connectivity. This, these two are the same molecule. So that's another way that you can do it rather than uh, writing out a condensed structure or trying to come up with a condensed structure. You can use either method. Let's try the next one over, the next box over. We're gonna start by counting how many carbons do we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the first molecule. Second one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So because they have the same number of carbons, that means we need to look for hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the second molecule has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I lost one there. Fourteen. H fourteen. They also have the same formula, which means that they are either the same molecule or they are constitutional isomers. We need to look at their connection, the pattern. Let's erase our marks. This one's gonna be a little bit easier for us to see because we can really clearly see the shape in the molecule and we're asking ourselves, do these two molecules have the same type of connection? The First molecule has this five membered ring and it has these two carbons that are attached to the ring side by side on the ring. 
second molecule has these five carbon ring also, and it has two carbons that are attached, but they're not side by side. They're spread apart. They're spaced out a little bit. So they do have a different connection, which means that these are constitutional isomers. Next one, count the number of carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next molecule, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they have the same number of carbons. Do they have the same number of hydrogens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Same carbon, same hydrogen. What we're looking at now is do they have the same connectivity? This one is also pretty easy to see. We have a six membered ring versus a five membered ring. That's a different type of connection. These molecules are not the same. They are constitutional isomers. And here's our last example. Start by counting carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now count hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These have not the same molecular formula because they have different numbers of hydrogens. So these molecules have no relationship. We're going to say they are neither, neither the same, nor constitutional isomers.